Welcome to Module 4 in the series of courses on the fundamentals of telecommunications. Today we'll be talking about the public network, specifically the PSTN, or the Public Switched Telephone Network. Once again, I'm Ted Chandler, your CIS instructor for this online course. In this online module, you will learn to first explain in general terms the structure of the public telephone network, describe the types of carriers who currently participate in the public telephone network, recognize the elements of outside plan and describe their purposes, recognize the elements of inside plan and describe their purposes, describe the hierarchy of central offices that participate in the telephone network, explain issues related to interconnection and billing between common carriers, and finally, you'll be able to describe the current telephone numbering plan and explain how it has evolved. Let's first take an overall look at the PSTN, or the Public Switch Telephone Network, also known as the Plain Old Telephone System, or POTS, P-O-T-S. The PSTN can be defined as the collection of local and long distance providers facilities and the connections that are available for public voice and more recently data communications. You may also think of the PSTN as the old bell system plus its post-1984 competitors. Please note that in telecommunication line is used frequently to refer to one of two things. First, the physical connection between a subscriber and the telephone company's facilities. And second, a single communications channel between a subscriber and the central office. Also note that the term termination is the place where a wire is connected to another part of the public telephone network, for example, a switch or a customer's home. And also note that the point of presence, or the POP, refers to a carrier's facilities that allow it or its customers access to the public network. Now common carriers are entities that are directly involved in supplying regulated telecommunications services to the public. To be considered a common carrier, a company must make its services available to any member of the public who chooses to subscribe to those services. Local exchange carriers, LECs, and inter-exchange carriers, IXCs, as well as many non-traditional service providers such as wireless communications companies are common carriers. A reseller is a common carrier or a company that leases in other companies' facilities and then sells services over those facilities under its own name. Currently, two types of common carriers provide local phone service. Incumbent local exchange carriers, or ILECs, these are companies that have been providing local phone service since before competition was allowed for intra-lattice traffic. Competitive local exchange carriers, or CLEX, these are companies that began offering local phone service after the Telecommunications Act of 1996 introduced competition. Facilities-based are CLEX that build their own facilities in addition to leasing and using ILEX facilities to provide service under their name. Outside plant refer to, refers to the system of cables, poles, towers, and other connectivity equipment between the demarcation point and the central offices, or COs. Included in outside plants are the demarcation point, local loop, and service area concepts. The demarcation point indicates where the, C where the LEX, the LEC's responsibility for a line ends and the subscriber's facilities begin. Also known as a network interface device, the demarcation point is usually contained with a demarcation box to protect it from tampering and environmental damage. Here are examples of a residential DMARC box on the left of the slide and a larger DMARC box on the right, which is usually found in business locations.
The local loop, or the last mile as it is often called, is the connection between a subscriber and the nearest central office. The original local loops were all copper wiring, and although most are still made of copper, they may also be fiber optic or wireless. Local loops are supplied by local exchange carriers. Though they are the most expensive part of the public network, they are also the place where the most money stands to be made because they are li the link to the customer. Local loop or last mile portion of the connection is the most expensive for a carrier to provide because separate lines must be installed for each individual subscriber. The local loop is the part of the connection most likely to have the lowest throughput and furthermore be the most susceptible to damage or noise.